Nicholas lived in that house. He knows how the power works. This may be a wild idea, but I'll bet a neighbor or a friend could manage to find the fuse box. Or, wilder yet, Emily could have called you. I left my cell phone at home. Do you ever stop making excuses for her? Okay, look, Lydia, I, I get why you're insecure about your husband. He married you for money, but my wife Wake married up, me for love. Wake up, newlywed. Our spouses are in love. If you don't keep the power going in your house in every sense of the word, Emily will be gone, and you'll be left out in the cold just like I am. You want Emily to ignore me the way that Nicholas ignores you. Misery loves company, and you hate being the only one who's hurt and rejected. So Nicholas and Emily are alone in your cozy little love nest on a dark, stormy night. But that's not a problem, because Emily loves you. together, then you're going to wind up in a padded cell. So Nicholas is welcome in your home anytime. I didn't say that. What? He can only come over when Emily needs a little handiwork done? Okay. Lydia, I get why you like this. You're in a marriage with a guy that doesn't even like you. I mean, that's got to wreak havoc on your ego. At least I'm willing to face the facts instead of hiding in some romantic fantasy. Emily is in love with Nicholas. She has been for months. It's the reason that you broke up with her. It's in the past. You think Emily's feelings for Nicholas have just evaporated into thin air? Emily never would have married me if she was in love with Nicholas. So that's why Nicholas is with her right now, and you aren't. Okay, Lydia. I wouldn't put it past Nicholas to try and make a move on my wife, but if he does, Emily's going to turn him down. Mm, pure, faithful Emily. Emily loves me. She'd never cheat on me. Keep telling yourself that if it makes you happy, right up until the moment you walk in on your wife with Nicholas in bed.
I know you, don't I? No, you don't. You're into rock stars, right? I guess what he mean was more than you could handle. Hey, why don't you leave me alone, all right? If you're into bands, why do you hear mine? We've got great music. Oh, we need are some groupies. She asked you to leave her alone. What? Because you can hit on her yourself? She's not interested. Why prolong the agony? You're missing some awesome tunes. last chance you could be making a big mistake i don't see how you could become a big star what like in that avril lavigne song she blows him off in high school five years later she's still kicking herself <laughs> i think it's going to take a lot more than five years and some groupies to make that kid a star ouch um yeah Tell you what, um, if you're in some real trouble, give me a call. My name's Sander. Sure. You, you have any paper? I have a pen. No. I'll just use a napkin. It's my cell phone. You sure you don't want me to give you a ride home? No, thanks. I'll be all right. I live pretty close by. All right. Well, I meant what I said. Use that number. Yeah, we need to. I will. Take care of yourself. And maybe I'll give you a call sometime. Even if I'm not in distress. It's fine by me. So I spoke to Lydia. Mm -hmm. She said you were over at my house. So you're with some girl at Kelly's. Why your wife is at home alone in the middle of a thunderstorm. I don't know you any explanation. Yeah, what would she think about you giving your phone number out? You have no idea what's going on. Hmm? You have no idea what's going on? Uh, you don't care about your wife's feelings? Why are you so concerned about my wife? Except for the fact that when she called you, you ran right over to my house. I went over to fix the power. Xander had no other intention except to do that. Of course she did. did. But go for it. Go for it. But it doesn't matter. My wife's not going to go for you because we are married. She's over you. All right, she is. But you got uh, poor Lydia, your wife, looking at a lonely future while you pine away for another woman. But it doesn't matter. Because Emily is my wife. And not you or anybody else is going to come between us. Well, you better, better keep her happy. Because if you hurt her, I'll wreck you. You keep in mind. The one thing Cassidines know is revenge. Suddenly, my arms were around Nicholas. And I was kissing him. And I couldn't stop. My love for him completely, completely overwhelmed me if the lights hadn't come back on. We would have made love. Oh my God. How did I let that happen? Secrets and lies destroy a marriage. But how can I tell Xander the truth? It would break his heart. Everything at the cottage. Did you get the lights back on? 
Heard you ran into Xander. I had to find some way to fill the time. You were gone, what, two hours at least? That's uh, 10 minutes to check the fuse box. What was next? Securing the shutters, fixing the boiler, draining the gutters. <laughs> Who knew the Cassidyne air could be so handy around the house? Meanwhile, you spent your time making Xander paranoid. Xander refuses to see what's right in front of him. I'm a little less naive. Just how close did you and Emily get tonight? I'm sorry I took so long. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you did all this and I, I took so long. I'm so sorry. It's all right. It, why, why'd you have to leave in such a hurry? Alexis. Oh. This, uh, these charges against Ned, it's just, this whole custody thing, it's really messing with her, so she just needed to vent. Well, um, Xander, a lot has happened since you've been gone. Yeah, I know. I talked to Lydia. She told you I called Nicholas. Mm-hmm. And that he came over here. Xander, the, the storm knocked out out the power. I tried to call you on your cell, but you'd left it at home, and um, it was so dark, and I was getting scared, so I I called Nicholas, and he came over here to fix the lights, and I never would have called him if I'd been able to reach you. Emily, hey, you don't need to explain, okay? I just needed help, Xander. Emily, I trust you. I know that Nicholas is in love with you. But I trust you completely. You can do whatever you want. I mean that. Oh. Sometimes I feel like I don't deserve you. Mm. Right back at you. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. You know what? Um, come on, come on over here and um, make yourself comfortable. Oh, okay. um, and so sweet. And um, I'm going to have dinner for you ready, okay? All right. I'll be right back. offered you an open marriage, all the lovers you could possibly want, you refused. Emily's not my lover. Just the love of your life? How many times do I have to say this? We went into this arrangement knowing perfectly well it was a marriage of convenience. Which is why I was surprised when you insisted on fidelity. You said no affairs for either of us. It, it was a deal breaker, in fact. You were so sure. I told you I'm not having an affair with Emily. What you're doing is almost the same. You've, you've convinced yourself that Emily is the only woman that you'll ever love. Well, I stand on the sidelines without a chance of ever winning the affection of my own husband. I know that you think that I am shallow and calculating, but I have feelings. I had hoped that we would find our way to companionship, trust that maybe we'd even love each other but uh, there is no chance and I'm clear on that now poor Xander hasn't figured that out yet he's still insulated in his little bubble of denial but when he does figure it out he's gonna be devastated Emily's not leaving Xander, Lydia. And you're not leaving me. That's right, Nicholas. I am gonna fight for this marriage. 
Even if I am the only one who's fighting. Maybe we should get rid of this cottage. Maybe it was a mistake. I, I, I love it here, Xander. It's beautiful. And it's just so far from everything. If there was an emergency, you know, it'd be tough for people to get here. No. I love being out in the woods, you know. We we have our privacy and just me and you in a in a world of our own. That part I like. And let's stay here. All I care about is being with you. I love you so much.